What science has revealed to us that they have developed, I believe they've had for a long time. Look at the movies like The Terminator. Was it Sarah Connor or John Connor who taught the Terminator how to smile, trying to teach him how to be more human? So scientists are now saying that they have created a smiling robot face from living human skin cells. Rather terrifying. Scientists unveiled Tuesday a humanoid robot face they created from lab-grown, self-healing human skin. Are these humanoid robots actually walking among us now? We wouldn't know, would we? Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you very much for joining me. What are your thoughts about this? Please like, share, and subscribe. The University of Tokyo has unveiled where it was able to make a robot smile by binding engineered skin tissue to the complex form of its head. This supposed new research has heralded a new era of human-like robots that have improved sensing capabilities and the ability to self-heal if injured, according to the scientists. Self-healing is a big deal. Some chemical-based material can be made to heal itself, but they require triggers such as heat, pressure, or other signals. And they also do not proliferate like cells. Biological skin repairs minor lacerations, such as ours do, and nerves and other skin organs can be added for use in sensing. The researchers now hope to develop the living skin to make a humanoid robot even more realistic in both appearance and function. Future versions could include features like wrinkles, pores, blood vessels, fat, and sweat glands. So we got dogs nowadays that can um, detect cancer cells. Would these dogs also be able to detect um, an android, a human look looking like robot, even though they have sweat glands? Would the sweat glands smell different than humans? Remember in the follow-up movies of the Terminator where they used dogs to sniff out fake humans that were actually androids? What researchers did was try to recreate ligaments that tethered the skin in humans by using tiny, tiny flexible collagen and elastic. According to the BBC, it will equip robots with realistic smiles and other, other facial expressions. The living tissue used by the team from Tokyo University was a cultured mix of human skin cells grown in a lab. The researchers also said it paved the way to create a self-healing skin that will not easily rip or tear. The researchers said that um, this breakthrough could one day prove useful in cosmetic industry and help train plastic surgeons. It also brings the potential benefit to robotic platforms such as an increased mobility, self-healing abilities, embedded sensing capabilities, and an increasing lifelike appearance. Creating robots that can heal themselves, sense their environment more accurately, and perform tasks with human-like dexterity is increasingly motivating. Previous research into robotic skin has already led to the development of artificial skin that has more sensing features than a human skin, such as the ability to detect pollution in a river or traces of explosives on a piece of abandoned luggage. Just shows you another example of the technology we do already have. What they did, the researchers created an artificial skin using living cells in a lab, resulting in a 3D facial mold and a 2D skin robot. They drilled tiny holes into the robot and applied a gel containing collagen 
before attaching the layer of artificial skin on top. The new product is more elastic, preventing the skin from breaking as robots move. By mimicking human skill alignment structures and by using specifically made V-shaped perforations in solid materials, we found a way to bind skin to complex structures, the leader of the research told BBC. This helped a layer of skin take hold and enable fluid facial expressions by mimicking human skin alignment structures and by using specifically made V-shaped perforations in solid materials. The natural flexibility of the skin and the strong method of adhesion means the skin can move with the mechanical components of the robot without tearing or peeling away. So the next test would be to see how many cycles the skin-like material remains attached to the face. Is there any wear and tear at the anchors? Does it peel off after a thousand smiles or can it last a million smiles? The researcher went on to say that they believe that by creating a thicker and more realistic skin can be achieved by incorporating sweat glands. Sebaceous glands, pores, blood vessels, fats, and nerves. Other applications for this new skin would be for stroke patients, burn victims, those with paralysis, or who have undergone major open surgeries, could in the future benefit from skin or more natural augmentation. It also could be used in soft robotics, which uses soft materials in the construction of robots. Animatronics and movies achieving lifelike movement would be the bigger hurdle there. Yeah, I don't think actors are going to go for that, do you? Humanoid robotic startups. Figures have drawn $675 million investment from Jeff Bezos, AI chip maker Nadivia, chat GPT maker, OpenAI, and others. By PVO robots with dexterous hands are joining the labor force this year, a trend that is expected to gain steam. Figure and OpenAI will also collaborate to develop the next generation of AI models for humanoid robots. This will combine OpenAI's research with Figure's deep understanding of robotic hardware and software, the company said. The partnership aims to help accelerate Figure's commercial timeline by enhancing the capabilities of humanoid robots to process and reason from language. There is an arm race amongst humanoid robot makers, which include Telsa and Boston Dynamics, to bring anthropomorphic machines into the workplace. Figures robots are joining BMW's production line. Amazon is testing digital from Agility Robotics for warehouse work. NASA has a partnership with Aptronics to develop a humanoid robot named Apollo for space exploration. Humanoid robots growing muscles raises new fears about taking away jobs from humans. Though, robotic companies assure us that they're meant for work that's too dangerous or repetitive for people. I guess that would be factory work. More jobs taken away from people. Yeah, I think they already have them. What are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all.